Okay, this is John Tang, and this video is entitled Ship Inside a Bottle. This right here is my closet, and we are coming to the very end of a, a two year renovation. And that's all slapboard on the back there that's been custom painted, installed in the back. You can see up here, this is all the, the baseboard. The closet is a whole nother animal. I don't. There's too much to describe here. It's just so amazing. I'll, I'll do another video on the entire thing afterwards. But what I want to show you right here is the crown jewel of my closet. And that is the suit rack. So what happened right there at the bottom, that bottom stem, that's just a piece of plastic that's uh, from a, a vacuum cleaner. It's propping up that first ship's wheel. That ship's wheel is handmade. All the pegs on the outside, those are from an actual ship's wheel, but everything else, all the scroll work and all the brass in the middle here, that's all ball bearing in the middle. All this is handmade by Armando Garate. So that's good. There are going to be two levels of these right here inside this rack. I wear a lot of suits, a lot of custom suits, beautiful. And this is going to complement it perfectly. So we came up with this idea, I don't know, a year ago to build these two levels using this type of design. There'll be a small, thin, brass bent rod that will go on the underside of the ship's wheel, and that's where you'll hook the hangers. Kind of like how you have, and this again, this is all, this right here, all this right here, this is all custom bent brass tubing for this particular closet. So it'll look like this, but the diameter will be a lot smaller just to hide it underneath the ship's wheel. And then this right here in my hand is industrial brass tubing. This has been threaded, custom threaded. This is what, a quarter inch thick? Yeah, yes. And this piece right here, this is about four feet in length. That weighs about 40 pounds. Yeah, I three, can't pick it up with one, yeah, one hand. Two and a half pipe. Two and a half. Okay. It's pretty, pretty heavy, isn't it? Okay, that's heavy. What's about floors? This is basically, yeah, and then, and then we don't even talk about the floor. We got a beautiful floor underneath this. But this is basically the fireman could come down this pole. You go to, to the fire department, this is what they're they're coming down, no, going to the, the five alarm fire. That's correct. <laughs> so it'll have the two at the top, and then there'll be space in between them. And I can't wait to see what this ultimately looks like. There'll be a base plate at the bottom and then there'll be a base plate at the top. So here's kind of yeah, the showing you what it'll look like. So, yeah. Well, let me just turn it around. Let's see. Like so certainly the, the one at the bottom won't be that low, but that's just what we have because the other pipe hasn't been cut down yet. But bring that up another two feet. No, yeah. And then you'll have another one here, another two feet above, or another 44 inches space from the other one, just so it'll fit a standard suit. And then this is just, I just have never seen anything like this. You know, Armando has been working on this, toiling with it, working with contractors to try to figure it out. I think ultimately he's coming down to this building it himself. And it'll be a one-of-a-kind piece. I don't know where I could find something like this again. One of the things about Armando uh, is that he's not going to work. He's not going to work. He's not going to work fast. Okay. So if you want something that's really special, though, and you're willing to leave, have the time for it, make the time for it, you can create these type of things. One thing that he mentioned to me at the very start was is that you know if you can dream it. I know this almost seems kind of cliche, but if you can dream it we can build it. And from a construction standpoint, I, I won't even consider Armando a contractor. I consider him an artist. <laughs> and that's what he's created in this house is, is something this, even this, this, uh, cabinet, this is floating off the floor. This is suspended. I have space underneath here. There's no support underneath it. It's all on a wall and you can hang your body off of this thing right here. So everything is custom and it's, well thought through, and it takes a lot, a lot of time. But if you're that type of client that wants something very special, something unique, 
and you have the temperament and also the time not to have put your thumb down on him to get something very special. This is your guy. This is your guy. Uh, not just here in Southern California. I mean, you fly him out to wherever it is that you want to do a project like this and he'll create something that's never even been achieved before. So very, very special Armando Garate, Garate's interiors. Armando, how do people reach out to you? Oh, they can um, call me at the uh, 310 if you want to go straight to my cell phone. Uh, 310-462-1993 or to my uh, email uh, garatesinteriors at gmail.com G-A-R-A-T-E-S interiors at gmail.com So very, very special here coming to the end of this project. Got mixed feelings about it. Certainly wanted to get back into the house um, but having Armando here doing something very, very special like this for us is really... Uh, a very unique experience and something you're just not going to find when you just pick up the yellow pages and try to call somebody. Uh, this is your guy if you want to do a job like that. So give him a call, reach out to him, and certainly even if you want have some technical questions for him about a very special project, this is the guy to spend some time with you to talk on the phone and walk you through it. So thank you so much, Armando. Looking forward to seeing this very uh, exciting piece as it gets built out, and we'll do another video once it's all um, up and running. Thank you.